Frosty the snowman was a jolly happy soul with a corn cob pipe and a buddy. No, mama, stop. What the yeah, hell, yeah. man? Okay, fine, fine. You know what is Shingo Mama means in... Stop rent. the hell up! <laughs> Everything means rat in the... <laughs> You've told me blah, 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 blah means rat ten times now. Maybe that's why the people act like rats. Because all they know is rat, rat, rat. Daddy gonna give All you right, a so today... Daddy gonna give you a new name, back. <laughs> okay, I basically took a bunch of AP calculus problems from the past exams, just cherry-picked problems and smushed them together, so that's what you're seeing here. There's gonna be a little humor in the last one. Okay, so this will start off with something that will probably be college word approved. A flight boards passengers for five and a half hours. Five over two, or 2.5 hours. PFT represents the number of people in the waiting area. You know, the area with all those chairs. Okay, so here's our beautiful table. Okay, A, approximate uh, the integral from zero to five over two PFT DT using trapezoids and the left-hand rule, find the difference. Now, what does this weezer beezering thing mean? Well, this, is actually how many passengers have entered the flight. That is the value of that number. All right, so let's just get our calculator out and let's begin. So we're going to approximate it using trapezoids and the leaf table. What is the difference between trapezoid and trapezoid? Uh, trapezoid. So the left hand rule is when we basically take this, multiply it by this, and then we take this, multiply it by this, multiply this by this, this by this, this by this, this by this, and this by this, and add them up. So let's do that. So what did I say? Well, we're multiplying one-fifth by four, so let's add that in. Then we're multiplying one-third by 15, so let's add that in. Then we're multiplying five-sixths by 24, so let's add that in. And then we're multiplying one by 64, so let's add that in. And then we're adding, um, multiplying 5 thirds and 40. What the hell, man? And then we have multiply 2 by 84. Wait, no. We don't do that because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Instead, we do this. We multiply 1 fifth by 4. Then what is the interval between 1 fifth and 1 third? The difference between these is 2 fifteenths. So we multiply this by 2 over 15 times 15. Wow, that's convenient. So now, here we have a difference of 3 6, or just 1 half. That's convenient. So we multiply that by 24. So 1 half times 24. And then we basically continue that on. So let's just write all the differences. This is 1 over 6. This is 2 over 3, this is 1 over 3, and this is 1 over 2. Okay, now that we have that established, we can basically finish the equation. Oops, I just typed in the log function. Okay, so 1 half by 24, 1 sixth by 64 now. Uh, then we multiply 2 thirds by 40. Nope, that's not 2 thirds, then 2 thirds by 40. Then we multiply one third by 84, and then we multiply one half by 40. And that adds up to 100.1. All right, so now, what about the trapezium? So how do we do that? Well, we take one half, and then we take the interval, which we'll call h, and luckily we have all the intervals written down over here, which is good. So we have one over five times, what is the sum of four and 15? 19. And we repeat this process. The sum of 15 and 24 is 39. So two over 15 times 39. The sum of 24 and 64 is 88. So we have one half times 88. And then this difference is one sixth, 
64 plus 40 is 104. And then we add 2 thirds. Uh, so 40 plus 84 is 124. We multiply that by 1 third. And then we multi uh sorry. And then we have 84 and 40, which we multiply. Wait, what did I just do? Oh yeah, this I believe is supposed to be two thirds, not one third. And then we add one third multiplied by 124, because 84 plus 40 is 124. And then we have one half times 40. All right. So now, all we gotta do is enter this stupid looking expression into the calculator and half it. 1 fifth times 19 plus 2 fifteenths times 39 plus 1 half times 88 plus 1 sixth times 104 plus uh, 2 thirds times 124. And uh, I'll save you all the work and I'll just say that this is about 110. I believe so, anyways. Uh, and then we divide that by two. Uh, and we get 150. All right. So now we're gonna, going to find the minimum amount of times which p prime of t is zero. What does that mean? Well, basically, that means that the slope is zero. How do we find that? Well, let's do a little model. So, we see that from 0 to 5, 6, it's rising, but from 5, 6 to 1, it falls. So, if it changes direction, then there must be at least one point where the slope is 0. So, that's one change of direction. So, let's note all the changes of direction. And then, we, after 5, 6 to 1, it changes direction again, and this time goes up to 84. So that's another point. And then it goes back down to 40. So that's a third point. And then it keeps going down eventually to zero. So that means that the answer here is three. Oh yeah, and I forgot to do the subtraction. So uh, yeah, the answer to this one would actually be 48.53 because that is the difference between them all. Sorry, sorry. Okay, approximate p of four thirds. Well, four thirds is in between one, which is three thirds, and five thirds. So, p, p prime of four thirds can be approximated as y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Five thirds minus one, no, oh, that's x. 84 minus 40, over 5 thirds minus 1. So that is equal to 44 over 2 thirds, or 44 times 3 halves, which is 66. So p prime of 4 thirds is about 66. Okay, so now D, here's the fun part. A terrorist hijacks the plane and redirects it. He forces everyone to leave at the rate of L of T is equal to 4 T cubed people an hour. He kills 29 of the hostages and the rest are released in 3 hours. Find the number of people who board. And this is where it becomes non-college board approved, folks. Okay, so all you have to do here is this. We take the integral of L of T in order to find and the indefinite integral of L of T in order to find out basically the function Oh, no, no, sorry. Take the integral of L of t from zero to tris in order to find all of the people who were released in three hours, or all of the hostages. No, all of the people, sorry. Okay, so we get 40 cubed dt, and then that essentially is equal to 4 t to the 4 over 4 from zero to tris. These cancel out, we get t4 from zero to three, 
which is equal to 3 to the 4th minus 0 to the 4th, which is 81. And it mentioned earlier that he killed 29 of the hostages. So what's 81 plus 29? 110. That's it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Saborno Isaac Bari, who is known as the god of mathematics, became the youngest professor in the history of mankind.